I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins, the opening market minute for Thursday, September 26th. Soybeans are higher in the early going, seeing another round of spillover support from soybean products, especially soybean oil, which is up on strength in global vegetable oils, palm oil in particular. Past that, beans continue to keep an eye on expectations for harvest delays in some southern and eastern growing areas as Hurricane Helene makes landfall and moves further inland. Corn's down modestly, a little bit of profit taking after the recent gains there. The trade seems a little bit wary about pricing corn above demand, but Mexico did buy U.S. corn for the second day in a row, bringing the running total to 295,000 tons. Corn's also keeping an eye on harvest delays. And wheat's up modestly. Planning delays for the soft red winter crop are probable in the southeastern United States. Meanwhile, there should be some decent progress for hard red winter in the Western Plains. And the trade's also keeping an eye on expanding drought conditions in the Black Sea region. Live and feeder cattle are lower, waiting for direct cash cattle business to get going. Direct cash cattle markets have been very quiet this week with just a few asking prices on the live basis, nothing yet for dressed and no bids have been reported as of yet. Beef export sales were below a week ago. Pork export sales were also down on the week. That's part of what's pressuring lean hogs so far this morning. And the trade's also getting ready for this afternoon's quarterly hogs and pigs and cold storage reports. With the opening market minute for Thursday, September 26th, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins. Stay tuned for this afternoon's update.